Well, I'm a high school PE teacher or qualified to teach PE and maths, but um, at the moment I'm just doing relief teaching this year. Okay, so we're going to play in the red coned area. So this is going to be one end zone. So red, you don't need a ball, head down there. non bibs let's line up on this line here. Yeah, nice. Good job, girls. Go with speed. That's it. That's it. Initiate the touch. Good girl. Go, Hannah. Go with speed. With speed. Yeah, nice. You three. Well done. Basically, I was at school and I think it was year 10 or 11 and it was kind of like, well, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? And I looked at my PE teachers and I'm like, they play sport every day and get paid for it. Like, what better job? I guess since I was 14, I ended up playing soccer for a club and I went through the um, SASE Institute of Sport. Um, obviously represented South Australia. Um, my last state trip when I was under 17s, so I captained the side. Um, and then W League came around, so obviously I was part of um, Adelaide United. I have always loved soccer. It's something from my family, my dad. Everyone's kind of played it. Um, and then obviously AFLW came around and the opportunity kind of arose and it was just one of those things that I couldn't really knock back and I thought I needed, it was just, I went through a bit of a phase where I just needed something new, refreshing. Well obviously coming from soccer like, you know, but in all sports you've got that transferable skill of just even if it's just game knowledge or game sense or just spatial awareness is probably one of the biggest ones is just knowing when to run timing where to run it's all like any sport it's all about movement um, and I guess when you're looking at a lot of the sports so even like now that the kids are doing touch footy it's all transferable so that's probably why I love PE as a kid um, and obviously it was my favorite subject so that's probably why I found this transition from soccer to footy yeah.